Hello and welcome to the App Framework Series. My name is David Fate and I'm a software developer here at Contentful that's worked on building the App Framework. And now I just want to show you the ins and outs of how it works. So in this series, we're going to talk about the concepts and ideas behind the App Framework. Then we're going to move on to building our very first app. And then finally, towards the end, we're going to work on looking at advanced features so you can learn how to build rich and really useful integrations with the App Framework. Uh, the App Framework is just a series of tools. It's a collection of tools that we provide. For those of you that are already familiar with Contentful, you may know about UI extensions. So the App Framework is the successor to UI extensions. It's the plugin uh, library that we've got here. So you can build new and useful integrations inside of Contentful functionality that doesn't come uh, in the box with Contentful. So in this series, we're going to uh, explore the different tools. We're going to build some cool apps, and we're going to talk about the advanced use cases. And actually here today in the first course, I just want to give a brief overview of the different tools that we have to offer. And uh, then we're going to start to look at each tool more in depth and start to get more into the code as we walk through the different aspects of the app framework. So let's just take a look now at what these tools are that we have to offer. Before we begin, I want to point out that our developer documentation outlines in detail the technicalities of the app framework. As I talk about the various features in the app framework, you can always refer to the documentation to get more in-depth view of what's going on. To start, I want to talk about what it means to have an app inside of the Contentful web app. In this instance, we have a sidebar app, which is outlined in yellow in the box on the right. What apps are, are single page applications. They're made up of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And they run in an iframe, which runs inside of Contentful. We offer a lot of tools that help you integrate your single page application with the Contentful web app in order to share and transfer information between the two. In this session, I'm going to show you the different locations that apps can show up in, and then I'm going to talk about a few tools that are useful for getting started building apps. As we can see here, we have an entry sidebar application. Entry sidebar applications are good for showing metadata or executing third-party code. In this other example, we have an app that takes over the entry field. This is useful for when you want to integrate third-party data into the entry itself. In our example here, we have a product picker from Shopify. To add upon the entry field, we also have a dialog location, or a modal, which can pop up on the screen to further augment the data that goes into the entry field. There are more advanced use cases for apps. For example, if we don't like the default editor experience that Contentful has out of the box, we can instead choose to fully customize that editor experience in total. Another way we can integrate third-party data into Contentful and visualize it using our app is to use a full page location and make use of the fact that it can show up in the top menu bar. New to apps, and something that UI extensions do not have, is the, now the ability for developers to build a configuration screen where non-technical or non-coding people can access and configure the app's installation parameters. Creating an app can be as simple as a one-line command. Using out-of-the-box tooling, Create Contentful App, we can run a command that will build a directory and create a React app that will get us started with apps right away. This tool is free to use, and it's open source if you'd like to inspect the source. Another great tool that we have is the Forma 36 library. Forma 36 is Contentful's design language. It's what we use to build the main web app. We've open sourced this project for free to be able to allow you to use these different UI elements as you build apps to create a seamless and cohesive experience without breaking the flow of the user interface inside of Contentful. Another thing we've done is open source all of the default field editors that you find inside of Contentful. 
For example, this text editor is open sourced. As we look at our custom code, we can see that by adding just a single line of code, we can have the markdown editor show up in our custom app, and then we can create custom functionality around the default markdown editor. Bringing these technologies together is a good way to get started in understanding what the app framework is all about. In the following courses, I'm going to outline in a little more detail the tools that I just talked about, and then we're going to get started with building our first app. I hope you enjoy the rest of these courses.